Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up that screen. Oh, George, George, George. George is going after AITX. It's been a while. It's been a couple of months since he's really said anything about the company, but here he comes. So we're going to get into that. Yep, like I said, it's been a while for George. Like I said, I'll, I'll pull up his Twitter account here in a minute and kind of show you where he's been attacking AITX. Now, he used to attack it a lot. I mean, he used to really, really hammer AITX. But since the company sort of just kept their head down and kept doing what they're doing, I don't know, that probably didn't satisfy him too much. So he sort of left it alone. But in the last uh, week or two, AITX has had a lot of big news, and that's going to get his attention which is the 50 sales of the Rosas and all of that to a, a big manufacturer. And then of course the casino that ordered 14 and I think they'd ordered, um, and then there was another company that ordered four or five. So they've, they've sold a bunch, like 70 units just about in the last week or two. So that's gonna get a lot of people's attention. So, you know, here you go. And then on top of it, you know, he brought up the authorized shares and all that. So uh, let's show actually the, the tweet that he sent out. All right, he says, AITX is a gup against the authorized and still owe a ton of money, so, so what's it going to be? And he brings up the RS. I can tell you there's a document that says there's not gonna be a reverse split, and uh, Steve Reinhardt's put that out there. So I don't know why that's on his Twitter account bringing up the RS, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So the only way that it could happen would be if they uplisted to the NASDAQ. So if you'll remember that, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up that document and show it to you. All right, and here's an actual 8K that um, the company put out uh, pertaining to a reverse split. It says a reverse stock split. The company shall not engage in a reverse stock split of its common stock before January 1st of 2024. That's 2024 unless the company is uplisting the company to the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange, except as specifically provided in the paragraph. All right, so that tells you they're not going to do that unless they're uplisting. That would be the only way. So I don't know exactly why he put that in there unless he's, you know, in some way insinuating they're going to uplist. He may not know about that 8K. It's, you know, sometimes he just uh, puts stuff out there and hadn't done his due diligence on that particular issue, so it's possible he didn't know about the 8K. And then he put here a little smart aleck comment, only Steve's hairdresser knows for sure, which is, you know, charming. And then he points out here that uh, they have some uh, loans payable of 20 million, which, crap, I don't, I don't know of any other companies out there that don't have, uh, don't have liabilities on their uh, balance sheet. But uh, anyway, we're going to talk about all that too, okay? The one big issue, and that's, this is something I've been wondering at myself, and this is why I'm actually not in AITX right now. I've been in it three times. I've tried to swing it twice. And I just haven't gotten comfortable with the balance sheet enough to where I could stay in it long term. So I'm waiting to see what they're going to do with these authorized shares. And that is a legitimate question because it is coming up against the authorized shares of $5 billion and they're at 4.919. So something needs to give one way or the other. They can either uh, increase those authorized uh, shares or they can get a loan or raise money in, in another fashion. And I'm sure Steve will address this at some point now. The one thing about George Sharp, and he is a double-edged sword, before you get too mad at him, typically, and I've dealt with this with Eilis and uh, several companies that, you know, when he starts in on a company and starts uh, attacking it, understand you're probably going to find out a lot of information that you didn't have before that is actually positive. So I get frustrated with him, but on the other hand, he's always getting me fresh information when he does this. So, you know, the reality is, that's probably the best way to look at George rather than getting all mad and upset and letting him tear you up. Understand, you'll probably get some information that you didn't have. So that's how I look at him. I see him as sort of a, a double-edged sword. I keep saying it because that's, that's what he is. So before you get too frustrated, just look at it that way because we're probably going to find out something a little bit quicker because he brought it to people's attention because a lot of people notice his Twitter account. I'll just go ahead and tell you they do. George kind of reminds me of this. Some man you just can't reach, which is the way he wants it. Well, he gets it. 
George is just that way. You know, George likes to stir the pot. It's what he likes to do. He gets a kick out of it. I don't appreciate his style. I think it's crass and annoying. But, like I said, you will get information. You know, he's he stirs the pot, and the pot, a lot of things come to the top, and you get to see things that you didn't know. And AITX uh, today is still sitting around that 1.4 cents, and it's been there for a long time. It's been just kind of hanging around this 1.5 cent area. And gosh, I mean, how many months is this? This is back in January almost. So, I mean, it's been a very long time. It's just been on this little path here, not doing much of anything. It had a few drops and a few run-ups, and that's because of some short interest that got involved in it, short volume actually, where they ran it down, then ran it back up. Some day traders still mess with AITX, but not a ton of them. It's not real heavy. And one other reason that the penny stocks are really struggling, especially small cap stocks, and, you know, everything's been down, but if you look at the S&P 500, you can see it's come down from an average uh, P.E. ratio of 23. It's now sitting about 15. So it's getting down there to a fairly uh, decent average. The mid caps have been hammered, absolutely hammered. And they're down to 11, which is almost as low as the uh, Rony Rona and not quite as low as the absolute horrible crash of 08. But get a load of these freaking small caps. Holy crap. This is as low maybe a little tiny bit lower than the P.E. ratios they had during the Rony Rona. I mean, at the peak of it, too. And look at 08. It's about there. So the small caps are ripe to have a nice comeback at some point. So that's one of the reasons why I've been buying some penny stocks and why I'm interested in AITX, because I know there's going to be a run at some point on penny stocks, you know, after this horrible crash that we've all dealt with. All right, folks, and that's AITX. And like I say, George on the attack, it's, it's nothing new. You know, this has been something he's done many times. Now, you will notice actually on his Twitter, let me, let me show you this one thing. Down here at the very bottom, after he said all this little stuff, then he said, this is not a commentary on AITX's business. He used to actually uh, kind of rip them a little bit on that, but he's having a tough time getting on their actual business because they are selling a lot of units. So I think he's sort of backing off of that, and now he's just kind of getting on about their balance sheet and stuff like that. Which, you know, those are legitimate uh, questions, but like I said, it's kind of hard to get on a company that just sold 70 units of their newest uh, products. So anyway, that's AITX today. And like I said, I root for this company. I really want to see it succeed. And I like the sector it's in. I like, I like their products a lot. And it's great to see them sell, what, 70 units over the last, what, 10 days. That's fantastic. But, you know, there are some questions and some uh, things that need to be answered, and I'm sure Steve will do so in due time. But um, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. That lets me know to continue to cover AITX. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd certainly appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Mr. Frugal Investor.